Hey, what's up? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to create that very popular telephone effect on vocals by using automation on your EQ plugins in Pro Tools 8. Let's check it out. Okay, so I have a vocal here that I want to add the telephone effect to. So let me just play it. Our young, nimble shoulders can shrug at a cutting edge, right? All right, so I want to add the telephone effect to that. So what you want to do is go to your inserts, instantiate an EQ plugin. In this case, I'm using the Pro Tools EQ four band. And you want to go to your lows. And I've cut them 12 dB. You want to find a good frequency that you want to cut from. I'm choosing 500 hertz and below. I'm cutting out all of those lows. And then same thing with the highs, 12 dB cut. And I'm going to choose about three and a half K. Basically a high pass and low pass filter, subtractive EQ. And then you wanna boost your high mids. In this case, I'm choosing 2K because that works good with my track. You know, you wanna find which frequencies best suit your track and then boost them. And I'm also going to boost 12k so i've cut 12k and then i've boosted 12k in the high mids so let's hear that track back now with the telephone effect our young nimble shoulders can shrug at a cutting edge right okay so now i'll play it and then bypass it and then put it back on again so you get a difference our young Nimble shoulders can shrug at a cutting edge, right? So sometimes you don't want that to be on the whole track. You just want it to be on little sections. So I'm going to show you how to do is automate that. So go to your auto and click on the little box there in your plugin. So and then it brings up your plugin automation window. So you can choose which parameter you want to automate in your plugin. So I've, cho I've chosen the high mid band gain, as you can see there. And if you want to add something, you just double click on it. Or when it highlights, you could choose add. And then it adds it over on the right side. And now it's automatable. So now I'm, I drew it in. So I just want it to be read. I just wanted to read the automation. Click on the little arrow here so you can see your automation. And as you can see, it's the three band EQ. So when you go to choose which parameter you want to automate, your plugin shows up. And then it also shows the plugin that you've chosen to automate. Choose it, and I've already drawn some automation data in right there. I used my pencil tool, drew a few, a few points, and used the grabber to arrange them the way I want. And you'll see in the plugin that it's being automated. Can shrug at a cutting edge, right? You can always get in touch with Justin at WinkSound.com and check out more of Justin's videos including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8 now available on demand at WinkSound.com.